Mike Murray Jr. and today I'm going to give my real thoughts on Barrel Game Face 13th studio album, Apocalypse. Now this one is one of my least favorite of his albums, like not really bad, because it's really a, a low on my favorites list. Of course, it, more than half the songs that have already been, been, been out there before the album came out. Of course that's normally the pimp based on how good or bad it was. But in 2008, 2009, five of the songs were included online. Part of a digital EP called, called Air of Leaks. Hmm. Actually, my five of the songs have kind of a very between when I first heard them there and when I first heard them on the album. Like, like Skipper Dan, I like, like that better if, if I've heard on the album than what was, was a, a download. Well, whatever you like, it's a song that I like. Yeah, less than I did. Yeah. And Craigslist, a song that that's really great. I think I like, like, still like that one as much as I did when it was first out. Well, Ray Tone. I don't know what I was supposed to do when it came out, but I don't really think it's that great. And, and, and CNR, I think they liked it slightly more when it became, a, it became an hour track, but it's not really that great. Of course, there's the, the lead single, Born This Way, apparently, Gaga's Born This Way. You know, it's kind of a fun song, but at the same time, I don't think it's one of his best ones, but part of that is biased, that it would look like, like uh, Italy it, it, Gaga. I thought I was going to say that, but I thought hers her was a talent. Yeah, so I could just be too too biased about that. But of course, that one was available for for uh, viewing on the live stream before the album, just because we all th thought they was wasn't going to be able to put it on there. Yeah, you can get online, see if you can find the story behind the misunderstanding where we all thought you could put it on the album, but then could. But then, yeah, I heard, heard that, that that the Poker Millie Poker Face was was doing concerts. So, so that's about seven songs that I had exposure, like further exposure before this was released. Anyway, of course, my favorite, and actually with, with, with Poker Face, yeah, that one also had a Lady Gaga song. This got straight into the camera of that one before that, and I guess permission to include several songs on his Poker Melodies, so it's kind of strange how he already got permission to include Lady Gaga's song as Poker Melody, and yet, Feel like need to ask for to do one of her parodies, like a parody one of her songs. Why do it both at the same time? That her management told him that he did not get that 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 she denied for resident when it turned out that he didn't even know about it in the first place. But yeah, what I was going through really every mind, like thinking he had room for a Pokemon, but not apparently. <sighs> but also, like you know, you know, it's worse that the Poker Face having, having a sample of a Lady Gaga song. Having a sample of just some Bieber song, it had Baby Baby, like, like... Of course, it does have a sample of a Katy Perry song, like, he's a girl, but then... This goes well with my, at least favorite of Katy Perry songs, he's a whole lot better song. But, what are some of the best songs on the album? Well, Skipper Dan, of course. <laughs> of course, I don't really see a whole lot of humor in it, though. I've been listening to it lately. They found a little bit of humor than we've seen before. Maybe I identify with the character a bit too much, so for, for too sorry for him. Like, it's a really good song, but I don't really see a lot of humor in him. Now, that, that note, if, if that, that, that is it, love is also kind of like, like, like that. Like, like, the music video gives a lot of humor with a lot of contrast with some of the songs, or, but, but the song itself, without the music video, it's hard to really, you know, you can't really uh, see, see all the contrast. And, but it wasn't that lately, but the thing is, it looks a bit funnier. And, Yes. Yeah, and there's the, the ending songs how far that crap to me. It's a really great song. Kind of similar to Don't Down Down Old Road of this song. It's about a different kind of, kind of message. It's a really awesome song. And I was a lot like, like part of the CIA. It's really great. Now, Jail Denver, that was a you know, CD, DVD, like, like it was dual layered with a CD side and a DVD side with new videos. This one, yeah, this one. It had uh, both a, 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 a CD and, and there's also a, a DVD as well. The, 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 the uh, DVD had a music video as well, but songs for, 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 for this way and Poker Face. But shortly after this, there was a, an, an Apocalypse HD uh, a, a Blu-ray release, which so had uh, all, 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 all music videos. Hmm. And there's also a release 
Again, like the Apocalypse Tour was had and both those music videos as bonuses. Yeah, music videos are a mixed bag. Oh yeah, another one of my favorite songs is TMZ. It's really good. Yeah, because one thing I kind of know is that. It says over scissors, most of his albums had, had, had one song that was kind of long, like uh, longer than the average song. You're going to put by then. Um, but this one, I don't think any of the songs were like that long, like, like nothing Albuquerque length or Genius in France length. I wonder if that's because they made music videos for all the songs. In fact, Apocalypse is, is his only album. Well, they made a video for for every song, even the Pokemon. Like it's the only Pokemon that is on music video. Hmm.